So what town are we driving through right now? We're in the town of Pichataro, one of the um, autonomous communities of the state of Michoacán. And according to the U.S. government, this is like a super no-go zone. You get inside of the town, you could die, according to these guys. But um... This is a Gradesky of WeAreChange.org here with Jeff Berwick, the Dollar Vigilante. And as you guys know, Jeff Berwick is one of the biggest proponents of anarchy, and he runs one of the biggest anarchist conferences out there on our Capoco, promoting the philosophy of anarchy. And today's story, which is kind of risky, what we're doing here, uh, the U.S. State Department has issued many warnings specifically uh, for U.S. citizens not to go to the state of Machoacan. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Michoacan saying specifically that there is a great risk, especially in the cities that we were just in, of kidnapping, of murder, and uh, a lot of dangerous criminal activity happening here. You hear it all, all, all over the mainstream media, all over the local press here. But the story that we're covering today really puts a lot of that into question and really promotes the ideas of anarchy. Yeah, absolutely. We just drove, we're just entering uh, Chiran right now, which is uh, fairly well known that about 10 years ago they kicked out all government, all politicians, and the police, and uh, all the basically all crime stopped. So, what the US State Department is saying is the exact opposite of what's actually happened. And we just drove through a few towns here, and they're called self autonomous zones. Uh, there's a uh, uh, self patrol, community patrol sort of a thing here. Uh, probably the, one of the nicest little towns I've ever seen in my life. Everyone's so friendly, so relaxed, so tranquil. Uh, I I was expecting we drove up in a big black SUV or a couple of gringos that we might get some looks. Everyone's smiling and waving and, yeah. uh, you know, I, I really want to stay here. I've, I've never, I feel so great knowing that no politicians or cops can come in here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we were just in the local town and I really needed to pee. I was drinking way too many fruit juices and I'm just like, crap, where the hell's the baño? Donde es baño? Donde es baño? And like this family just let me use their bathroom, just walked me right in. They're like, yeah, I just use the regular one. I try to give them five pesos. They're like, no, we don't want any of that. But the story that we're covering, because we're just going into Tehran right now. We just literally passed the checkpoint uh, to get in. And this is a zone where government and police are not allowed as well as political parties. If someone enters through this checkpoint with a political party sticker, they're going to have to take them off before entering here because the town here says that uh, the political parties divide and conquer people. Just like we see in the United States with the Democrats and Republicans, uh, the kind of ideas and philosophies of many people just saying, well, we got to vote for the lesser of two evils, where Hillary's a lot, you know, she's still bad, she's still really bad, but she's not as bad as Donald Trump, and Donald Trump is not as bad as Hillary Clinton, we got to vote for him. They don't have any uh, of those problems here. They have a decentralized model that we're going to go in and investigate on how they run with assemblies. But already there are some dangers uh, coming here, uh, obviously with this city pissing off uh, the authorities, pissing off a lot of organized crime. So we've been kind of uh, quiet on where we're going. We're going to release this video when we leave here safely, of course. Uh, but there's also crazy stories of just local towns here where helicopters came in and started shooting people from the government. I mean, what are some of the security concerns and what are some of the things you're hearing before coming into this town? I uh, just let this uh, truck Perla Negra truck with a pirate sign on it. Um, uh, really, the only risks and concerns are of government. Really, that's why we didn't let anyone know we're coming because obviously we're going to promote my angle on it. Uh, obviously, that's, you know, I'm not going to tell you anything but what I believe, and that is that I think this is probably a great thing. We're going to find out for ourselves yeah. today, but really the risk was if government people found out we're coming, they may not want us to let people know this is pretty nice. It's, you know, a lot of people will say, you know, what about speed limits? What would happen if there's no cops? Like the night, everything's so nice and slow and tranquil here, and um, you know we're going to find out for ourselves exactly yeah. how things run. But you brought up there's been a lot of problems in this state, Michoacan, uh, mostly all done by the government. It was about uh, just last year, and this was not covered by any of the mainstream media, of course. And the official story came out, but uh, the the true story that we've heard from people on the ground so far is that a government helicopters came in, and they said they're looking for a criminal, uh, which they are the criminals, uh, but uh, they just started 
started shooting up a little town around here. Uh, they said in the official uh, story from the government that six people were injured. We've heard at least uh, six people were killed and uh, maybe quite a few more than that, including a few little girls and, and things like that. So that's really the risk is the government still, they're still around. Uh, that's the only risk that I see here. Yeah, and the cover up of uh, what exactly happened down here, uh, which the media, again, you know, didn't do a fair job covering. And that's why we're down here trying to report and find out and investigate everything that's happening here. Uh, because, you know, more and more I start traveling around the world, more and more I see really government as the main problem. You look at the corporatocracy, it is empowered uh, primarily uh, by government. All the monopolies, all the tax incentives, all the tax breaks, all the seed funding, all the money, even when it comes to tech monopolies like Google and Amazon, uh, even Facebook, they wouldn't exist. Even Barack Obama said uh, all those institutions wouldn't exist if it wasn't for government funding. Uh, so again, now they're creating huge monopolies. Now they're censoring people online. The, the information warfare has been heating up on such an incredible level. Uh, but again, the more I travel everywhere, the more people are like, government is not the answer. I don't like government. The government's in our way. The government is extorting us. The government is taking our money away. The government is making it harder to even just do regular business with. Uh, and it's really just incentivized with all the criminal activities and people always ask, what's going to happen? What will happen if they get rid of the police, if they get rid of control, if they get rid of government, uh, if they get rid of centralization? It's going to be chaos. It's going to be horrible. Well, we're here to investigate. Jeff, uh, you have a lot of different things that you want to do here because you got inspired by the story. What do you want to do uh, here in Turin? Uh, when I first, I didn't actually know about it until recently. I don't know how I didn't know about it. They've actually been pretty autonomous here for about 10 years. Uh, and it's just about a nine hour drive from Acapulco. So uh, as soon as I found out about it, I said, we got to do this. And we've been incredibly busy, but you flew down on short notice. And we just flew, came right here. Um, I, I want to see what it's like. I also want to meet uh, the, the people that have uh, been a part of making this happen and really congratulate them and offer our support in any way we can, whether it be perhaps investing in this area, if they're interested in that, whatever they're interested in, uh, perhaps um, getting some crypto things involved here. Some people are talking about that. We're here some people from, from some, with some crypto uh, things. Um, and I also want to invite uh, some of the main people here, or actually everyone, I want to, I'm putting this out as an open invitation. Everyone in Turan has a free ticket to Narcopoco, and if they really want to come, we'll send buses up here and will bust them down because they're they're actually real heroes to me. Uh, they, they've, they've done what we've been talking about. And that's one of the big things that a lot of people say on the internet. It's like, you guys talk about this uh, paradise, this uh, this idea. It's just a, it's a crazy idea. Well, they've done it here. And we're doing it in different areas as well. In Liberland, we're doing it. And um, we went to Somalia to see if that was anarchy. It's not. It's all governments fighting over the area. Uh, and the people there don't really even want, uh, you know, in that area, they, they kind of want government and stuff like that. So that's, that's, that, that's what people always say. Somalia Somalia's anarchy, and what they say about Mexico, and this, this is what they always do, is uh, the U.S. Uh, media and State Department say Mexico's dangerous. You've been down here so many times, you know it's the exact opposite of that. But the reason they say it's dangerous is because they don't have a big fascist giant government here in Mexico. So when they're saying it's dangerous, what they're saying is they don't have a big government like we have in the U.S., so you better not go there. You might have some problems because they don't even have police in some of these places. It's like, yeah, it's much better. Yeah, and the story is a lot more convoluted. It's not as simple as they make it out to be like in uh, the state of Guerrero, which doesn't pay a lot of taxes to the big federal government. And the federal government uh, does send out a lot of advisories telling people not to go there for that specific reason. There's a lot of intertwined business angles uh, in all of this, uh, but it's just, it's just, it's a very just simple idea. Don't mess with people. Don't rob with people. Don't hurt people. And this town exemplifies that this town was getting extorted uh, through the politicians who were illegally logging here, destroying the environment. Uh, to the point where they were also threatening the water uh, for this entire town and then the indigenous people and including the women here uh, you know led an investigation and then they led a revolution here that overthrew uh, first the illegal loggers that was destroying their environment but then after that the politicians and police that were enabling it and they kicked them out of this town and again people would expect what's gonna happen if there's no police well this is a great example of that that we're gonna go investigate and now they're working with local decentralized councils and community people 
people that get, uh, you know, changed from their position of power every few years, and it's all done through a local decentralized uh, community effort that's rebuilding the environment and making it better for everyone here. Uh, so this really is, is just an example. We still are going to investigate everything. We still haven't even, we just literally just entered uh, Turin. We just wanted to release this video before we release the full documentary of everything that we find out here. We're gonna be talking to a town elder, uh, and, I'm, and I'm really just excited to hear some of the stories. Already we have one uh, local here showing us around, telling us some of those stories, and they're just absolutely incredible. So uh, definitely stay tuned, definitely subscribe to this channel, get the notification. We are going to be releasing videos. Jeff is gonna be releasing videos on the Dollar Vigilante on his YouTube channel from his experiences here, but this is only the beginning. Uh, very exciting story that we're working on uh, that again, we're releasing right after we get out for safety purposes because of government. Anything else you'd like to say, Jeff? I'd just say we'll see how many views this gets because obviously this goes against what the the big uh, corporatocracy really wants to get out there. And we've seen with YouTube with the censorship, you've been demonetized for years now. We'll see if this even gets on YouTube. That's basically where we're at now. So don't just watch this on YouTube. Get on things like Steam it, get on things like DTube. Definitely get on Luke's email list uh, because when probably when, it's not probably not if, it's probably when they, they just shut him off just like they did with Alex Jones. Uh, he can then still send you his his videos and let you know of all the videos he's doing. And, and really that's the, that's the war that's going on. It's, it's a war of information. They don't want people to know what's going on. Yeah, and the tech monopolies want government because they're empowered by government and they work with them. They also spy on us in there. I could get into so many other issues. But regardless of that, stay tuned for the feature like documentary, documentary that we're working on here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting our work, donating to us and making this work possible. If it wasn't for you, I want to be here in Machoacan, uh, Mexico, of all places. So, love you guys. Stay tuned for a lot more.